Hello everyone and welcome. It's Barbara. And normally we do Warrior Fridays, but yesterday I was so busy, I never got the opportunity to do a, a video and a one card reading. So today is Warrior Saturday, and hopefully this resonates with you. We're going to do a card from the Earth Warriors Oracle deck. And um, I always do my shuffling before I start the video. And I'm talking to spirit. I'm talking to my spirit guides that work with the light. Um, and I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle until I feel like I don't need to shuffle anymore. Um, I don't do the, the shuffle, shuffle, and I wait for a card to pop out because my guides and I don't have that kind of a relationship. Um, they just sort of make the card light up for me so it's brighter. Um, and so today they chose from the Earth Warriors deck card number 18. And card number 18, I want you to just do the numerology with me for a moment. Um, 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9. And 9 is always the culmination of something. So it's, it's not necessarily an ending, but it's the culmination of, of things coming together. It's the end of a cycle. Um, it's not the new beginning yet. It's right before the new beginning. So this card to me, um, especially with all the things that are going on in the world, this is a really good card because it's talking about, you know, being the end of cycles. And hopefully you are using your time right now to go inside yourself and find out who you are, um, find out what your fears are, facing them and being done with that and letting them go. Um, you're releasing, you're doing guided meditations. I'm sure everybody's doing yoga and exercising. Not really. Um, but we need to, all those things that we haven't released yet in the last few years, it's time. Let it go. When I went on my journey uh, a month ago, that whole journey was about me releasing things. And, and it makes sense now. Um, why I had to face all my fears and, and let them go so that I could be lighter when this happens and hopefully so I can help people out there. There's nothing to be afraid of. We Fear is... Just let it go. There's nothing to fear. If you believe in a power higher than you that lives in the light, they got your back. It's very cool. They're your safety net. So card number 18, and hopefully I don't uh, screw up this name, but it's Kuntur Yashek, and it says, Blessings from the Son of Hanapacha. It's beautiful artwork. Lots of colors. And the third eye of this being has a crescent moon. I love that. So I'm going to read it from the book. And yes, I will interject my opinion in there sometimes. <clears throat> and by the way, I'm coughing, not because I'm sick, because it's really dry in here and I have not had anything to drink yet today. So my bad. Condor, okay, I'm going to stop already. Jill, I know you're watching this video. I want you to pay attention because this talks about Condor and uh, that's for you. Condor swiftly brings the will of great spirit to earth through the gift of powerful medicine. Despite great odds, even in the face of what may appear to be an inevitable defeat, extraordinary triumph is at hand. This is the prophecy of resurrection, of the rising up of what was thought to be lost. Wow, this is really appropriate for today. It shall happen with unexpected and surprising swiftness. Your divine destiny is now held in the guiding hand of a great spiritual master. Lovely. Condors are born with their eyes wide open, but do not have vocal cords to speak. You have always seen clearly. Trust in this. Even if you struggle, to find the words to express all that you see. 
Condors reveal emotion through changes in their skin color. This is a reminder to trust what your body is telling you. Your bodily intuition is a form of wisdom. You have a spiritual connection to the cosmic Christ consciousness, the universal sacred heart seeking to awaken itself in humanity. And that's what we're going through right now. We need to awaken, but also awaken our Christ consciousness. Your divine life purpose involves assuming the role of leader, guide, healer, and earth warrior for love on this planet in your own unique way. Some people say, well, what am I supposed to be doing? Maybe you're just supposed to be because you have a frequency that resonates with the earth, with the birds, with the four-leggeds, with the slithering creatures, with humans. Sometimes we just need to be and allow our frequency to emanate from us. Spiritual protection surrounds you and everybody needs to know this. You are protected spiritually. And if you want more, you just have to ask. Okay, I've been saying this a lot lately, but it's true. You need to ask. Ask your spirit guides for guidance, for protection, for all the resources you need to do what you need to do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Spiritual guidance. <clears throat> the condor is the ancient bird of the Andes. And they pronounce it kuntur, which is what this is. Once flying alongside saber-toothed tigers, this largest flying bird in the world is also one of the oldest species on Earth. Soaring to great heights and for hours at a time, my wings would get really tired, with little or no movement of its wings, oh, that's why. Condor holds the medicine of strength, spiritual connection, and grace. And this is what we all need right now. With a lifespan similar to that of a human being and the ability to soar at exceptional speed, it also carries the gifts of longevity and swiftness. Condor has been on the brink of extinction many times, yet it still survives even in the wild. At the top of the food chain, the condor is rarely a hunter taking life. It feeds off carrion instead. And its medicine brings cleansing and protection as it, is, as it is able to process toxins that would be harmful to other creatures. Excellent. The predator of the condor, and also the guardian that has enabled it to crawl back from near extin extinction into wildness again, is humanity. Through collective wisdom and cooperation between various disciplines and industries, Human beings have been able to restore with wisdom what was nearly destroyed in ignorance. Condor is an affirmation of the power we have to undo damage and create extraordinary healing. But we have to listen, we have to actively respond, and we have to work together in conscious collaboration. <clears throat> Condor is the medicine of the shaman, or yashak, the Andean healer, or one who knows. In the Andean shamanic worldview, Condor rules the superior spiritual world, the first plane of pure spiritual beings, known as Hanapacha. The son of Hanapacha is the shamanic Christ. In human form, this being is known as Yeshua, or Jesus. In the language of spirit medicine, it is the condor. The oracle of Kuntur Yashak brings a message straight from the universal Christ consciousness, beating as the living sacred heart of great spirit. It is an offer of absolute protection that is strong enough to sustain your purity, your integrity, and effectiveness as you navigate the challenges inherent in the earthly world of Puma, known as Kepacha, and much needed protection over the unconscious world of snake, known as Ukupacha, 
This protection ensures that your passionate purpose is not distorted or derailed by unconscious forces. As you accept this blessing, you shall know only protection, empowerment, and grace as you manifest the spirit medicine of Condor, helping to bring hope, conscious and creative collaboration, dynamic sacred activism, and miraculous restoration to the earth through her evolving human family. I feel really honored to read this card today. This is very powerful. So if you can sit comfortably with one hand on your heart, take a deep breath. Through unconditional love and in service to the universal sacred heart, I invoke the prophecy of the eagle and the condor that the opposites shall fly together in harmony once more and divine presence shall fill the earth and bless all of her children. The destiny of this world is to be love's paradise. Now, visualize, feel, intend, or imagine that there is a beautiful being of light shining in your heart. This is Yeshua, the brother of love and divine essence, fully manifested as a human being. He knows you and he loves you. He has complete spiritual mastery across the three worlds of Condor, Puma, and Snake. At his right side, the eagle soars, and at his left side, the condor soars. They are in harmony, dancing in the skies. Beneath Yeshua's right foot is the puma, and beneath his left foot is the snake, in perfect peace, order, and harmony. There is a profound sense of love and perfect cosmic order settling into all realms of existence and into all aspects of your own being. This spiritual master brings with him the invisible presence of great spirit to restore and realign all of existence from the inside out. The truth and healing of this inner realignment brings a feeling of profound inner relief. Now, place your hand on your heart. Yeshua, Condor, Christ, loving friend of my soul, you cover me with your feathers. Under your wings I find refuge. Your divine perfection casts off fear and doubt. And through the invisible inner workings of great spirit, all is brought into correct order now. May all beings thrive within the grace of great spirit. May all divine destinies be fulfilled. Through my own free will, so be it. I don't know about you, but that really touched me. I'm not going to cry. That, I felt that not just in my heart, but in my whole being. So if you can just take a moment, take all that light in. Because you know what? When this video is over, everywhere you go today, you're going to share that light with everybody. Now, I know a lot of people aren't leaving their homes, but that's okay. You can send the light. It goes through walls. It goes through cities. It goes through the countryside. You can send it all the way around the entire planet. And you can send it to the trees and the plants and the grasses, the prairies and the mountains. You can send it to the water, the lakes, the rivers, the ponds, the oceans. You can send it to the skies, to Mother Earth. You can send it to all the humans and all the animals. Send it to every molecule in this reality. You know that you did your part. 
Thank you so much for watching today. I love you all. Blessings. May you prosper. May you be divinely healthy. And may you feel the light inside you and share it with others. Namaste. My beautiful soul family.